Okay guys, so um, let me just quickly check that sound is working. Um, two seconds. Awesome. Okay. So um, this evening I'm going to be doing some, uh, just some character work. Uh, it's been a while since I've done anything sort of like character related that's not, um, that's not actually uh, creature driven as a lot of you guys have probably seen um, so my sort of plan is to just start off with some sort of like quick sketches and see where we go from there really um, you know uh, maybe I'll kind of get stuck into something we'll see how it goes I'm probably gonna keep the stream going till about um, maybe I reckon sort of like half nine ten ish um, so you don't have to stick around for the whole thing but be quite cool um, I am gonna just quickly apologize as well obviously normally I do my streams on it's like a Tuesday uh, 9 till uh, 10 here um, and obviously those of you who are on watch me work you'll notice that I didn't do that and those of you on um, YouTube obviously I wasn't quite there so um, you know I'm gonna try my best to kind of like make up for that today so uh, I guess I'll kind of get started so um, just kind of gonna go for grades and stuff I want it in a bit um, maybe not today but I do at some point want to try out some new uh, brushes and stuff so um, we'll kind of see how that that goes I've been recommended a few from people so like on Instagram I kind of comment on people's uh, statuses and stuff and sort of like ask them what brushes they're using if I like a particular way they've drawn something and it's quite interesting to see kind of what people come up with so I mean I've been doing this for a while so I suppose uh, even though I'm saying it's been a while since I've drawn a character um, do you know what normally I'd, I wouldn't have the confidence that I've developed in sort of like recent weeks with um, with sort of like using more like a solid brush to just quickly block stuff in there and then kind of go over stuff but as I said this is like going to be really fairly quick and uh, there's going to be quite a bit wrong with stuff but I mean I'm trying to just do quick characters and kind of trying to get some motion in that I mean as I said it's been quite a while since I've drawn characters like humanoid <laughs> characters so it should be sort of like an interesting sort of session I'm going to try and do a few different things some sort of like close-ups and maybe work my way out into um, more of the uh, more of the sort of like full kind of body stuff but we'll sort of see how stuff goes so this guy I'll just kind of do this I don't really know who he's meant to be I don't really like where the eyes are and stuff so we'll work into that but um, yeah you know so thanks again everyone for kind of like tuning in and stuff it's always nice to sort of like see that there's about sort of like five people watching now which is <laughs> always quite nice uh never really get that much in the way of sort of like uh focus normally so it's pretty good so thanks everyone for just kind of tuning in to have a little look today um as i have said in the past i'm going to be trying to do sort of like a more regular stream and stuff so i think that um you know uh, it's something that I want to aim to be doing so you know please do keep checking back because somewhere down the line um, I'll, I'll get there you know maybe summer would be a good opportunity for um, for a bit of sort of like uh, more kind of development works and I have obviously had people ask me to do um, more specific kind of workshops which I'm quite happy to do so uh, I'll probably start kind of looking into that at some point so I'm kind of going for something quite sketchy and I have to admit when I do characters and it's something that I'll probably try and work out of I used to think I didn't have much of a style um, <laughs> I am mistaken uh, I do I suppose when I look back at my work I kind of do identify that actually I do have like a style and stuff and um, you know like th these are just kind of like warm-up sketches I'm not I'm not kind of going for anything amazing so you'll see me kind of work on this one and then I'll try and work in something a little bit more um, a little bit more serious it doesn't mean I won't come back to this one but it's just more like a I suppose like like anyone um, you don't use a paintbrush for obviously I was ill on Tuesdays so I haven't used a paintbrush since last Thursday well not a paintbrush obviously digital um, 
media brush whatever but I suppose when that's the case you want to just kind of warm yourself up again you want to get a bit more practice in there so if the stream quality is terrible I do apologize so the last few weeks I haven't been many people in the house now people are back in the house it's sort of like a um, <laughs> all the all the internet is going on to sort of like people streaming various things like Netflix and now TV and stuff so unless I do it quite late at night um, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to do much. So, you know, as I say in all my streams, you know, feel free to ask me questions, ask me what I'm doing. Sometimes I forget and I kind of, you know, um, and sometimes it's nice to just kind of have someone to like fill you in and stuff. So, yeah, uh, I don't really like this character already, but hey, do you know what? Sometimes you just go to roll with it. It's probably because I am using sort of like a solid brush. I'm used to kind of slowly building into it using that. But as I said, I wanted this to be a fairly quick sketch. I didn't really want to overdo it. Um, so it'll probably be done in a few more sort of like minutes. And then I'll kind of go into something a bit more. So just give you an indication of sort of like my process, how I work before I kind of get started. Um, and as I said, like, you know, like, these are kind of like quite I, I do like drawing kind of more cartoonish characters sometimes I think you can draw them very quickly um, you can kind of you know build into them quite nicely these eyes are sore um, I, you know like but this character is a is an interesting one as I said I'm trying to do kind of like a quick sketch I mean we're what um, we're 10 minutes in and that's when I had the little kind of loading screen up there as well so to see where this kind of ends up going is be quite interesting. Now, um, this this guy here, and I'm kind of thinking it will be a guy in this situation. As I said, like really quick sketch how I'm kind of building into this. I mean, I might take it further. I'm not sure, but I kind of like when I do my characters and stuff. I like to focus on like the whole image and that. This is just as I said, like a warm up, and um, really I've done a pretty. <laughs> pretty weird job and stuff on it so just add in some sort of like highlights and that uh, how sort of things might kind of go that's why there's no eyebrow man okay so build in the eyebrow there I suppose as I said not great okay so that's kind of like just a quick warm-up sketch for me that's like what five ten minutes so we'll go with kind of like that for that now. Now I'll kind of keep it on the page and stuff as so I build into stuff. So I'll just shrink it down, put it out of the way, and then we'll kind of go from there. So, I mean, he's still there. He's kind of chilling out. That's fine. Um, I'm thinking, and, you know, like if you guys want to see something different, please let me know. But I'm thinking like, uh, hold on. Hmm. I'm thinking that maybe what might be quite nice is um, to do sort of like... I was thinking to like an enemy kind of character, someone like not too intimidating, more like a grunt sort of thing. So um, my idea was kind of like, you know, maybe like go for one of those kind of like traditional little goblin characters or something. But then I might make it a little bit different. We'll see. We'll see kind of how it goes. So as you guys see, like I try, I try and work into like shapes uh, when I first start because I think they're really easy to kind of dial down. Um, you can do a lot with them to kind of work into them and there's a lot of like my creature work and stuff and I mean there are lots of different ways to do stuff like characters I know uh, a lot of people swear by like silhouettes and stuff and I, I do like doing silhouetting myself like but in this situation I'm kind of like well kind of make like a creepy little um, gremlin dude or something kind of make him a bit different and you know and like I suppose it's kind of like something I've always wanted to get into is more like uh these sorts of weird and wacky kind of characters that you'd, you'd see these like grunts in games and stuff and I think it's quite cool to let's just kind of build into it I mean I don't want to go for the stereotypical kind of goblin really like I want to kind of make him my own um, I really don't like what's the word I, I don't li I like I really hate traditional design things I think like you know like especially like as you guys have probably gathered by now um <laughs> like if somebody says to me oh yeah like do traditional folklore or something like that I, I really hate um with a passion 
doing like traditional looking stuff like I like it to have reminiscent of what it's supposed to be like one of my favorite things to do is actually to um, is to like I suppose a good way to put it one of my favorite things to do is to kind of see how far I can push something so I do really like when um, when I kind of see something that doesn't have a lot of imagery around it like I did the Abura cargo and the uh, the to Alicanto just just because obviously those guys are like um, you know there's not a much around them people haven't really visualized them much so I mean you know I think I think it's about kind of with a character's kind of like telling a story as well so once I've got this kind of down I need to think about like how he's going to look overall so what what's kind of going to be um, going on with this guy so I mean like what what kind of things you're going to be wearing you need to think about what they do for a living and stuff like that so I mean like we'll kind of keep building into it and we'll see from there so I've got this kind of like really horrible rough sketch that I'll turn down like this um, and to be fair I'm working in way too dark a colour I'm probably going to go for more like this grey uh, for working in some of the details maybe a tiny bit darker just to kind of show it up a bit better compared to my background or to be fair I might turn this down further so I mean like, it can be really light I mean I've got that on what 11% opacity so um, you know it's one of those things so I suppose all right as much as I really want to focus on the face I'm gonna fight that urge because um, <laughs> at the end of the day the the overall body is really important so um, and I said, like, you know, like, so it's been a long time since I've worked on, like, a humanoid character. Uh, and I, I, how can I put it, I know the rules. Um, I know, I know sort of, like, character fundamentals and stuff like that. I am the worst person in the world <laughs> for following these rules when it comes to drawing people. I, I don't know why. Um, I have tried and tried for ages to sort of, like, uh, you know, like, to, to get it right, to make my character seem less rigid and stuff, and it is one of my weaknesses, but as I said to you guys, like, ages back when I started the stream, like, I want to really take it back to, um, take it back to kind of, like, my, my roots of, I'm not comfortable with this, let's, let's learn about it, let's figure it out together, and I am kind of, like, thinking that that's a, it's a good idea, and I mean, you know, I always felt, sort of like, welcome feedback in my feeds and stuff, so, like, if people who are, you know really good at drawing characters like uh watching this and going wow you're doing so much stuff wrong you know please just kind of like pipe up i'm I'm always happy to sort of like discuss and you know learn new things as well as you go so uh kind of i suppose like obviously this was supposed to be a goblin <laughs> whether or not it's gonna be a goblin i don't know like it's already a, a mess at least so <laughs> Ah, I love it. Um, I'm just trying to think how can I make him different. Now, one of the ways that I do like to do that is um, I really like to, uh, I, I suppose I really like to like um, <laughs> building culture. So like if I see something like the, the Aztec cultures and the um, Inca and stuff like that, and I look at them and go, oh yeah, that's really cool. Um, and there's a game that does it really fantastically. And it's Heroes of My Magic 6. Um, they really incorporated sort of like uh, Japanese culture, um, Aztec culture and, and stuff like that into some of their creature designs and I absolutely love that, you know, uh, it's something that I've always kind of admired about them, so it's something I always try and kind of build into and stuff, so let's kind of think about this for a minute. So it is really important when you're doing a new design to think about it, like at the moment this is anatomically disgusting so like one head there second head there I suppose third head there see that's where the belly button should be if I'm going by the head size I've got and that's currently where the fourth head should be so I'll probably kind of just like so I use the lasso tool a lot I it's probably cheating and a lot of sort of like traditional artists it is one of the reasons why I think sometimes not all traditional artists but like you look at some of them they, they will slate so like um digital media uh that's not all all true and it's not all the time but obviously i kind of get it like you know I, I do like they work really hard to get it right the first time and learn these rules and then we can just sit there and go hey i'm gonna just uh 
move this around and then we're we're done um, so as I said I'm already not liking it so what I'm actually gonna do um, on my other screen so I'm just gonna quickly get uh, anatomy drawing model up okay so I'm gonna have this on a different screen because I can't guarantee that obviously there won't be sort of like with this search there won't be some sort of nudity with that because obviously a lot of life studies are done like um, with people being uh, making that now I, I tend to be better at drawing female anatomy than male anatomy a lot of the life models that I saw when I was um, when I was sort of like working uh, when I was doing sort of like life drawing and that were were female so um, I'm always sort of like trying anyway to, to branch out into something different so I'm hoping that this kind of like you know me drawing a more male orientated kind of character is going to be a good development for myself um, and it's important to work to our weaknesses so uh, keep working on that so okay I've got kind of like a rough model it's not it's not brilliant but it will do it kind of just help me rem well help me remind myself what things sort of like look like and stuff so it allows me to kind of draw shapes and stuff in there for things like pectorals how they link to um, shoulders and stuff like that so if I just kind of shrink it down I might just kind of think about this a bit so more like I forget that's uh, you know what one of my another big thing that I always forget to do is um, it's actually building a rib cage uh, always kind of a good shout so I mean this is me kind of going way out of my comfort zone so you know thanks for watching guys <laughs> um, as I said like you know I'm I like to learn just as much as anyone else and I'm great at drawing uh, well to my own horn a bit there I, I'm confident drawing um, characters like creatures and stuff like that and maybe I'll throw that in a, a bit near the end of the live stream for those of you that kind of like tune in for that um, but it has been a while as I said since I got into characters but as I said like you know we don't get better if we don't um, push ourselves into things we don't enjoy and I do like to push myself into things I'm not always comfortable with okay so um, build into that there so I'm kind of building it a little bit better than what I was thinking about how everything kind of flows and works. So build kind of hands and build a bit more. In. I'll build a bit more into that as we kind of go into the stream a bit more. So then when I get to here, so I'm going for sort of like a muscular shape, muscular kind of style, I guess. Um, I've got sort of like a forward facing model as well which isn't really helpful with the fact that I'm trying to draw a more um, a more sort of like a side on kind of character and stuff and I mean the, the, the really quick kind of trick is for me to shrink the head ever so slightly so you know I'm working in shapes as I said and build into that um, and as I said, like things will change, things will adapt as I go and as I kind of build into stuff. So I'm sort of thinking one, two, three, four, five, halfway down and six. So if I think more about how this is working now, so one, two, that's kind of pectoral line, three, that should be more where the stomach here, belly button is, but that's fine. Uh, but like halfway through there is fine and then four so to be fair probably more like there and then work into these so I go one there one there one there another one there so it goes to about there which takes me to below the knee so I've got that there for though those parts of my legs are sort of like more the muscular parts I guess and then from there I can kind of go right for calves it's one and two I think again so it's more like one so as you can see like I'm well off on the calves and it's more like half I guess a bit like that and that kind of really leads me up to sort of like having an eight heads high sort of person so I've kind of made these more like half because um, 
you, you, well, you know, you can have sort of like seven to uh, eight and a half if you're doing like, uh, what they call it, like heroic man pose or something like that. Um, so you get some different stuff there. So it's all right. It's not too bad. Um, pretty big goblin. You, you're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> it is it is quite a large goblin. Um, I'm, I'm working on that. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> as I said, I, I like reimagining things. So uh, <laughs> he's... <laughs> Yeah, he's he's quite muscular now, but I'm gonna kind of. It's really strange. I like working with that and then working it down, if that makes any sense. So, uh, and I don't just mean shrinking him. I mean like I, <laughs> I will kind of play around with the the scale and proportion stuff. So when I've kind of got those shapes blocked in, I'm a little bit happier with that. Now I'm gonna start trying to take this a bit more seriously, and I say that so loosely because, as I said, this is just development practice for me. It's been a busy week, so I think. With it being a busy week, one of my sort of like, I suppose, one of the things that I look at is well, how can I, how can I kind of relax a little bit? And sometimes just doing something new, learning something new, is a really good way for me to relax. So, uh, oh, and I see. Do you know what? This is transfer is ruined for me now. It's only really good for painting. I, I'm really only starting to enjoy. Um, I'm really starting to enjoy how to actually using a solid brush as if I was like almost drawing like with a pen okay so one of my like what so the characters that I can do um, you know you you guys have actually seen it's my my regular kind of uh, backdrop for my streams so it's one of the pieces that I'm so proud of it's a piece I did at university and um, it, it's just kind of like I don't even know it's like a bird shaman you know like uh, I don't even know where I kind of thought of it I just kind of back then uh, <laughs> when I obviously didn't work full time um, I, I had so many awesome ideas and it, it's just a shame that you know um, I don't get as much time as I'd like to kind of go into them uh, not as much as I'd like but I think I think you know yeah like I love drawing characters I just I, they're frustrating for me they just don't like you know drawing creatures fine drawing a, a person like a human person or a, in this case a goblin person it's just such hard work like it just it, it's so weird like it, it never really seems to fit in the same way as like if I was drawing like a dog or a, a dolphin <laughs> like lit quite literally anything else you you can name um so as i said i, I was gonna kind of like i'll just kind of do most like just gonna sound ridiculous but like shirtless for now um and then like build it build into him um so as i said i will kind of like demuscularize him it's just i tend to find that a lot of the model models you 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 get or you use are really muscular so then when you go to like design your own characters you're like i kind of didn't want it that muscular so then you have to like almost like starve this poor character you've just created in order to get them down to the scale <laughs> you wanted so um you know always nice nice thing to be doing um yeah so as i sort of said you know like today i'm on um i'm on i'm on a kick i'm gonna do and do well at this it's all good we've got this okay so when i zoom out it's gonna look awesome it's gonna look like a person or <laughs> what a person should look like not a person sorry a goblin a grunt but these aren't these aren't like you know these are these are competent goblin grunts these are even more intimidating in a game because you know when these guys come for you they 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 know what they're doing right these guys are going to scare you a little bit you're gonna be like oh man i really wish i hadn't you know peeved sauron off when he's got competent orcs sort of situation you know what i mean because i mean let's not lie i love the lord of the rings but they were not competent orcs you know they had one job get the ring I mean, even even his black riders. I mean, you know, they had to track down hobbits, like, 
you know, the ones that have literally no military power whatsoever, and, and they couldn't do that. I mean, I know he's friends with Gandalf, but really? <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, it's it's something. Yeah, it's something. Let's go with that. I mean, he's he's kind of his legs are in a bit of a tiz. Uh, the the kneecap should be a bit more forward facing. The 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 foot should be a bit more. So, I mean, so what am I going to start thinking about? Because obviously I haven't actually got to the I suppose the individualization of it yet and stuff. I I haven't even thought about it yet. That's the sad thing. Like this is like normally before I come onto a stream, I go right. What do I need to research? And I'm kind of like, okay, let's research the myths and legends. Let's get together some some nice kind of photographs. You know, let's think about this. Let's go. Whoa, what could, what could look good for this kind of design and stuff? And in this situation, I'm just like, ah, oh, let's just draw. Like, screw it, Peter. Let's draw something. Like, people enjoy when you just draw something when you don't overthink it. I overthink everything though. I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, right, the hands are dreadful. Um, we will come back to that. We will find a way to hide those. Because, do you know what? I'm ready to practice drawing humanoid characters. I am not ready to practice, pra like, doing hands, okay? That's a whole different ball game. Like, okay, so I've kind of, like, okay, at the moment he's kind of, like, you know, not wearing any armor or anything. But I will kind of build that in. But as I said, I'll. I, this is just how I do things. I, I like getting like anatomy and stuff right first. And once I've got my anatomy and stuff right, then I kind of go into the more um, more technical stuff. And and like that's when I'll start thinking about how are these guys going to look different. You know, maybe I give them, I don't know, an extra set of arms or something. That could be quite cool. See, the beautiful thing about like digital painting as well that I tend to find is that you, there's just so much more room to kind of play around with ideas really quickly so like if I wanted to and I was quickly concepting something I could do that I could kind of move it over in fact I might do that now why not um, and then I could just kind of duplicate that drag it onto the layer tab uh, move it over oh gold tell you what's great when your move function actually works what's going on with you I don't know if there's been like an update or something but I am having like serious issues with just move in general. Oh, it's because I had caps lock on. Jeez, really? Oh, I had no idea that was an issue. No, back to it again. What is going on? I don't really understand what's happening with this currently. Uh, I have never once had issues with the bloody move tool. And it's today that it decides good. You know what? We don't like you. So. I thought it was caps lock. Clearly it's not. How bloody peculiar. Um, and yeah, it's hilarious because you guys have been seeing me move stuff around like all evening. So, whatever. That's fine. I'll just do it this way then. Control T on that layer. Uh, I actually didn't want to move that layer. I want to move this layer over. Control T. Um, how this is going to pan out for my next bit that I'm going to try and do. So, like, obviously, you guys can, if you ever wanted to, test out new ideas really quickly. You just kind of cut around the bit you want. Do that. Control T. Whoa. Ah. Control Z. Control C. Control V. Beautiful. No. Okay. Control C. Control V. And I am still really. I can't even believe this. What is going on with? Is it my keyboard or is it just me? I'm I'm like lost. Okay, so um, don't ask me what's kind of happening here, because I promise you guys I'm like really good at Photoshop. Oh, this again. Come on, there is currently a fly buzzing around my room as well, which is always. Nice, so, right, control T, there we go, bloody hell, it's like get yeah, so if I want to try something like different out, I could just kind of do this, and then, like, I suppose, I'd grab this guy here, 
and I'd kind of maybe oh hey hopefully this time it will ah oh, look at that straight off the bat worked still not doing that though still not working on the move tool that's fine I'll just do the old control T sort of thing so as I said like you know it's you can build like completely new concepts just by kind of playing around with the same initial design that's why I do it um, I, I'm a really big kind of believer in you know don't don't do it twice what's, what's the point so I'll kind of move that there I mean I'm gonna work on this guy first then maybe move over to this guy because you know why not right so um, let's go on to this guy do you know what let's call this one this one we'll do warm up and this one we will do um, goblin concept 2 and this one we'll do goblin concept one just so I know where sort of like things are because if I'm doing lots of things then it's gonna make a lot more sense to do um, to, to label them correctly and stuff so uh, yeah okay right um, so as I said I'm gonna say it again I say it all the time if you have any questions please feel free to ask I'm always happy to sort of answer any questions people have. So let's think about how I can make this different. So, I mean, the traditional thing is goblins are kind of uncultured and stuff, right? And they're kind of grimy and messy and all that kind of jazz. So how can we kind of work with that? Um, I mean, how can I describe why I like doing things differently? I mean, let's look at, say, like uh, Warhammer kind of 40k. When they did... Um, when they do their goblins like that work with the or the, they call them Gretchens don't they but when they do those and they work with uh, they, they work with like the orcs don't they I mean like they're, they're done quite similar to goblins but at the same time different they have like this whole uh, they have this whole sort of like I don't know this whole gun thing going on I really hate like I, I'm really not it sounds ridiculous I'm really traditional in what I draw um, I, I really hate drawing like sci-fi but at some point I will get to sci-fi because that's kind of what what people you know also like to see so I'm pretty open with what what sort of stuff I can do so I'm kind of really stuck for ideas so it's like I'm thinking I'm thinking he's gonna end up looking less like a goblin if we don't work on his face just a little bit so like maybe kind of more let's let's kind of think so goblins always have pointed ears so what can we do instead let's go kind of more do you know what let's, let's go let's go weird with it let's go bat ears because do you know what i can i can see a goblin with bat ears i, I really can they live in like caves and stuff right so let's go bat ears let's just really concept this let's kind of go a bit weird with it so we've got bat ear goblins, right? Um, just I'm just gonna apologize because this thing's now telling me that the video output is low. So, um, ah, uh, so you guys are gonna experience buffering. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, as I said, people are back in the house. I will try and do my streams a little bit later because I do understand that it's gonna have an impact on quality and stuff. Um, so we'll try and work on that but and i'm thinking like really big eyes as well i'm thinking like um bush babies or something like that or like uh, eye eyes and stuff like that you know things that have like a ridiculously large shape of eyes like the way i see it is these kind of things live in caves right so surely they should be more like cave like in appearance like you know large eyes bat is um it's like an interesting kind of expression but i kind of i really want it to look intimidating as well so i need to kind of like work into the eyes a little bit because like i mean it's all well and good saying yeah i'm gonna have bush babies eyes but um 
Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. Work into that just a little bit. Okay. So, I'm kind of just outlining and building into uh, the face just a little bit. So, I mean, this could look good. I think I might even go back away from this pauldron here. In fact, I'm 100% sure I'm going to go back away from that. And I'm going to keep it really kind of like... Uh, as I said, these are like going to be grunts in a game. So, so I'm kind of seeing them in my head. And maybe like... Give them kind of like a little bit of fur and stuff. Maybe even like out here. You know, really think about how it's going. They, I want to kind of feel mindless and maybe like a bit. Like they could be manipulated given like the right kind of um, stuff. Because they always seem to be kind of like these sort of like almost like henchmen in games, don't they? Um, and I'm just kind of thinking how. But uh, too big. Um I don't think how best to kind of present these ears and stuff, so. And then, yeah, there. Because as I said, they're going to have like big ears and that, and maybe too big. I mean, I'm still kind of like, whoa, what? Raise these bits up. So, as I said, like this one may not be my best stream. I'm just kind of going with the flow a little bit on that. And uh, it's really having sort of a fly buzzing around the room is really not helping my, uh, my mood. But you know what? I'm going to take the pressure off myself. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> but, you know... Um, You know, and I think as well, like, sometimes it is important to realise that you can you can get too comfortable drawing one thing over and over again, you know? Like, drawing, say, like, um, animalistic creatures over and over again. So, like, sometimes it is nice to kind of go, hey, cave-dwelling weird creatures, they're cool. Now, I'm actually thinking, right, hear me out, what if goblins had ridiculously good strength, right? And because of their ridiculously good strength, they actually wear, like, rock armour. Because they live in caves, right? Yeah, hear me out. So, goblins living in caves, big eyes, bat-like ears, okay, rock armour. Okay, so, like, I'm talking to the point where their weapon, because I've already thought about this now, is, like... A bone right and strapped to each side of the bone and I'll build into this later is a stalagmite and a stalactite right so I'll work into that all right we'll get there cool though I think maybe <laughs> we'll see how it goes as I said still working on it still building into it um, so obviously if it is made out of rock we need to think about how it kind of bends and stuff and I think like, you know, maybe like sheeted armor. Like if you think about it's gonna sound really if you think about a tiled roof. Um but as I said, it can be like rough sort of armor, really square, blocky armor. And as I said, like, you know, it, it could be this is probably gonna be like a, the weirdest, like the weirdest creature I can actually think of. But it's been a while since I've just kind of gone off the cuff and just had a bit of fun with it. So I'm actually really excited to be doing this. And um, <laughs> Sorry, I just realised that I probably said that in the most monotone way ever. So I'm really excited to be doing this. Um, <laughs> which is the honest truth. So obviously with hair on top of its head, I'm going to start thinking about the hair and its arms. So as I said, I'm still kind of like in the concepting stage, so it's still kind of rough. So now, 
is where I'm going to take it that next step further. So I'm going to merge this down to the Goblin Concept 1 and work into this even more. So how would they grow big and strong without vitamin D? They're in caves. Well, and hear me out, okay? There are vitamin D producing fungi that illuminate their caves. There you go. How about that? Is that a good enough explanation? Or are we, what do you reckon? Genuine point. I reckon that's a good, uh, I reckon that's a good point to make. But we'll see. Okay, so I've got two new layers, shouldn't have done that, that's fine. Okay, so I'm actually going to go for really just taking my time now working in some details okay i want to work on the face i like working on faces let's go for it all right so we're going to shrink the brush down a little bit i'm going to go for a darker kind of color and i'm going to go for real confident kind of brush strokes i'm going to put caps lock on so when i put caps lock on it becomes like a crosshair for those of you that are unaware okay confidence in my brush strokes And if this fly flies on my screen one more time, I will not be responsible for my actions. It's nothing quite like when you're really trying to focus on something and a fly just keeps uh, going on the, your coffee and stuff. So, oh, it's lovely. Okay, so. Thinking about, obviously, like, as I said, I want to try out some new brushes soon. I, I've never been one for um, using brushes and stuff. Um, uh, I, I always use like circle brush, always. Like I am as the most creature of habit you could possibly ever meet. Um, and I suppose like when you use it so much, uh, you kind of grow used to it it's kind of like what i was saying to you guys before about like if you draw the same thing over and over again you just get used to it like just go kill the flight um uh, do you know what that's just too much hard work right now uh i feel that it would take away from this wonderful live stream if i uh, you know and not only that i feel that if i wanted to put that disclaimer no animals were harmed in the making of this live stream I wouldn't be able to confidently because I will have, you know, murdered a fly who has just as much right. Let's not lie, guys, you know. But, you know, if it does get too close, I will finish it, you know, just saying. So, as I said, I'm trying to make like a. I'm really trying to think about it and how it's going to look and how I can make it different. And as I said, you know, sometimes you just got to kind of roll with an idea. You can't just give up on it. You got to go like, okay, where where can I take this? Where can it go? Okay, so that's actually not me giving it eyelashes. That's me trying to build a bit more depth into the the face so uh, I like doing kind of like cross hatching and stuff it's kind of looking a bit too like I suppose like feminine at the moment I don't know I don't know what I kind of want out of this design as it stands but I, I will build into it as I said like build in some I mean there's nothing wrong with sort of like a feminine goblin bat creature but uh Yeah, I mean, like every brush kind of has its has its use, definitely. Um, like, uh, I mean, definitely drawing sort of like particle effects stuff. But I think sometimes why I like to use the circle brushes, I really like to learn how to do it, so sort of like from sort of scratch. Um, and I think that okay, um, I think that you know what, sometimes like you know by doing it with the circle brush you really think about what you're doing so you kind of really break it down and stuff um, I think that's quite nice 
like you know I, I really do or it's something that I quite enjoy doing anyway uh, it's learning how to do all of that and yeah get rid of that So it's looking too much like it's got like some serious eyeshadow going on right now. So I'm just going to kind of think about how best to kind of build into this. And as I'm doing this, I am really genuinely thinking about um, it's like how best to. Um, so I'm really thinking about how best to kind of build into the the actual. I suppose like the the anatomy behind the creature. And at the moment, the anatomy is not really doing it for me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of. It's it's creepy. It's weird. I I don't I don't like it. Um, but you know what? That's fine. Because what I may not like, somebody else somewhere might. So I just keep building into this. Uh, and as I said, like I can just keep going back into it and building into it and stuff, so that's fine. Yeah, no, I get that as well. You know, I think um you can do it for speed, definitely. It's a good way to do it. I think like if you keep practicing though, like when you are practicing, I, I do say to people like, you know, like research how to paint something as well you know it's it's good to use texture brushes it is for speed and time and if you're a professional artist i believe a lot of people do go into it and use them um i'm not disputing that for a second but i do say to people you know try and try and take some time just try and learn a little bit about uh where you're coming from with it as well because i think it's a nice kind of it's quite therapeutic when you're doing it and you're learning about it so um build into this a bit get some kind of eyebrow stuff going maybe I don't know kind of build in. I've kind of gone a bit sketchy with it again which is a shame because as I said I was kind of liking where it was going and stuff but I just kind of I only do this really when I've really got no idea where my sketch is going I kind of like try and build into it and you know, I mean, uh, yeah, I suppose from a distance it doesn't look too bad. Uh, looks a lot more kind of like intimidating from here than it does if I zoom in. So let's just kind of build into it here, like so. Maybe kind of like, as I said, I'm trying to build it into like being something quite, I suppose, hardy, something quite difficult not maybe you know not like I don't know maybe not rocks or anything but something I haven't decided what it is something um, maybe just like that I'll build into that there that'll be like my the gripping kind of hand and stuff that's fine come back to that in a bit and here as I said kind of want to build into this like so I'll probably like make it so they're like tied together or something um, You know, I think it's always fun to kind of play around these concepts and see where you end up. Kind of tie these together. 
haven't like waded in together. Um, one of the things that my kind of lecturer at university used to sort of say to me quite often was, you know, the practicality behind something. Like something can look really cool, but is it practical? You know, so those kind of giant swords of Final Fantasy, I personally think they're badass. How they do them in Monster Hunter as well, but then are they practical? Probably not, you know. Um, but that's fine. If you you know if that's what you want to design then design it but I personally I kind of got where it was coming from and it kind of helped me with a lot of my designs that's why I like looking at like real life kind of creatures when I'm designing stuff um, so I mean these are kind of, I'm just kind of thinking, do you know what, this is kind of, this is someone else that I want to do, I really want to get up to the, um, the Royal Armouries in Leeds, I used to live up in Leeds when I was doing university and stuff, I really want to get back up in there and sort of like take a sketchbook and actually just practice drawing some different century armours and stuff, because I think, um, you know, it's definitely something that kind of interests me, um, so you know, you never know on that front could get up there soon and just have a little look around and try and try and get a bit more practice in with that definitely something that I'm kind of interested in doing so we'll see where we go on that front but now as you can see I'm kind of trying to make these a little bit more kind of like I suppose furred spiky sort of things I'm kind of thinking hey where can these kind of go what what can I do with these and I'm not really sure I'll be brutally honest with you I'm just kind of playing around with the, the idea the concept I'm not really worried too much about um, where it's going and stuff at the moment uh, you know it's sometimes you just got to relax with when you're designing I mean it should be fun right because it's not fun then then what's the point you know it's not something you enjoy then uh you know d don't do it i guess that'd be kind of the the big one in the background that kind of says you know i think that there is a point that says if you want to do it that's great but you shouldn't ever get i mean i used to a long time ago i used to get really frustrated drawing you know i used to always compare myself to other people's stuff and i used to go like what's the point in the end you know you sort of sit there and you go well actually um i am just as good as anyone else i just haven't quite got there yet uh and that's really important to me personally to remember that quite often um uh that goes with like anything you're doing really doesn't it you know you're you're only not there yet because you haven't had the chance to practice it as much as you like or you know and stuff like that so Okay, so he's kind of getting a bit more character. I'm kind of liking him a little bit more. Um, definitely. Definitely like him just a tiny bit more. Um, so I kind of go for like maybe bigger feet and stuff. It's always fun. Da, 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 da. Beautiful. Now, he's starting, to, he's starting to feel a little bit less like a... Like just someone, someone I just kind of, I don't know, someone I kind of got bored with, I guess. Um, and a little bit more like something I've I've wanted to draw. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Kind of impressed with where that's gone. You know, the the hands are looking dreadful as per. So uh, let's kind of build into that, like so. Maybe do something like this. I'm just kind of thinking about the hands. The hands, I, do you know what? I just hate hands. And get kind of like a clawed sort of hand situation going on. Oh, do you know what though? His hands go. Um, I think these aren't too bad. I think I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can live with them. That's like kind of quick rough hand sort of things. That's, that's not awful. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm. This guy's kind of riddled with inaccuracies. I, I'm not like 
devastated, but kind of devastated. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, these are kind of like concepts that maybe I'll take a little bit further at some point and we'll kind of go from there and see how it goes, really. Um, build into these kind of like eyes and stuff and kind of, uh, you know. So that's, that's like completely the wrong place for the light there, probably more like there, kind of like very similar to where that, that one would be because this light's coming from the same place where I'm drawing it so I don't know why I've got like an obsession with always drawing the, the light on the eyes, it's something that really is important to me um, throughout so yeah I'm kind of happy with him, I'll come back to him in a minute anyway so let's kind of start on this guy um, and then from there you know like I, I did kind of say in, a, in another stream and I'll say again I'm really big with kind of like dancing uh, free things and stuff I, I like kind of going back and forth with things and, um, all that sort of stuff uh, I really do um, and I suppose one of the things for me uh, let me just quickly look at this a second. Okay, so like one of the things for me, and um, you know, that that is kind of really important to to think about is, I suppose, like the. Sorry, I'm just kind of having a little play around things. See if I can't get my stream to be. I don't think it's me. I think it's just the internet connection in my area this evening isn't particularly great. I don't think anyone's watching anything now, so for it to still be quite rubbish is a bit disappointing, but sorry about the buffering speed guys, like maybe look a little bit behind. I'll still interact, it just you might have to wait a little, <laughs> a little while for your response if you're jumping back a little bit, okay? Um, yeah, so let's kind of move my second concept up and kind of play around with that for a bit now. So, so this one's my kind of six-armed one, so let's kind of go something completely different. Now I'm gonna go for still living in caves, still something like that, I'm going to go, however, for a more aquatic, aquatic, mm, le yeah, no, let's go for aquatic, I'm going to go for like more of an aquatic kind of, uh, kind of dude, I think, I think that's a, that's a shout, I think it's a good idea, because at the end of the day, you know what, sometimes, you know, doing a, like an aquatic sketch is a good idea, that's what I'm going to go with. I dial that right down and then we'll kind of do what I did again so on top there and build into this one so I'll kind of be like looping back around I, as I said like I, I'm really big into kind of like uh, working on two things simultaneously and then kind of working back around back into it and it is a really nice way to practice as well because like you know um, sometimes it's just sort of like we like we like aquatic stuff, sea stuff. So people are kind of dropping off and stuff. Totally understand that. Like you know, what with the stream being what it is um, this evening. Sorry again, guys. I uh, can't really do much there. I might stop now and continue on a bit tomorrow, just because obviously um, the stream is kind of dying. So, you know, but we'll see kind of how it goes and stuff. Just kind of build into that there, like so. Build into that there, like so. Kind of get fins sort of stuff going on. And I've probably attached them into like the body and stuff like that. Um, kind of really build into this guy so he's kind of like you know he, he's kind of going to be like a, oh, oh, I'll tell you what he could always be like squid like in that sense like you know I'm thinking maybe not Davy Jones sort of stuff but let's do like a proper cave ocean goblin I don't think I've seen many cave ocean goblins so um you know, a, a lot of this is very, it's going to sound awful, a lot of this is very sort of like traditional rubbish in it, you know, like as in the sense that I'm not really doing anything that, that different. Now, you know, I'm kind of, do you know what, this guy's going to be a bit more driven around the actual, uh, his actual body design, and then we'll build the sort of like the armour and stuff he'd be wearing around that, so maybe quite like scaly 
um, and stuff like that perhaps build into that like so I mean potentially do like he's got spines that kind of set up here that can kind of reiterate here and then maybe like build into that there again he'd have kind of like largish eyes wouldn't he maybe even go with squid eyes on this but I might even do like that one sort of thing almost like arachnid kind of thing his eyes and stuff might even give him a beak I haven't decided yet see how weird we'll go with it in a bit I mean I'm not really in a rush to make it super weird but hey why not so as I said like you know I'm building kind of like into it the stuff I want really like you know I just kind of play around with an idea and a concept and go from there just kind of think of it off the top of my head have a bit of fun with it have a bit of a laugh that's fine um build into that there build into that there build into this I kind of make him have like big flipper feet I know I've given this guy like big fur feet but this guy's gonna have big flipper feet they're gonna be very similar because I'm doing kind of at the same time but uh, let's just kind of reset the face area and just rethink that a second I might even I tell you what you see much of this let's make him kind of cycloptic with more like just sort of like a sinister kind of smile and stuff like that you know like really kind of build into it but when I kind of think about the eye and when I kind of go into more detail with that I'm probably going to do sort of like uh, something like that I think kind of like goat's eyes squid eyes stuff like that. things are built to see underwater things are built to see in the dark all right so I mean do you know what for tonight that's where I think I'm gonna leave it um thank you to the main like remaining two people that are watching but I think the stream is like so bad this evening that it's just kind of gonna mess things up a little bit and people aren't really gonna enjoy watching so what I'm gonna do is I'll just kind of call it there for tonight and thank you all very much for watching um even considering that obviously like, the stream was a bit uh laggy and stuff this evening so it was really fun um as i said no real direction this evening so maybe i'll carry these guys on in my spare time what i might do is I might do it and then um maybe like speed it up or something for you guys but this has been good practice for me good fun so thank you very much for watching and i will catch up with you guys um a later date all right bye now